He's mad. He's mad. He ain't going hunting tonight, but I'm on the way to the farm. Going to go and enjoy a nice quiet evening and another good weekend, so we'll bring that to you. So the weekend of November 11th, no, I lied, it's November 2nd, and Dad and I are going up to the farm again. I just dropped Parker off, heading on up. It's supposed to be a repeat of last weekend. Nasty, warm, rainy Friday, and then tomorrow, beautiful, getting cold tomorrow night down in the 40s. And I got a truck full of, well, I got a few groceries to cook and uh, we get set up. So dad's in the stand now. I'm gonna get up there and get unpacked. And dinner's already made, bucket of fried chicken. And uh, we'll see what this weekend brings. Never know, stand by. So we're at the farm now, just rolled up and dad saw two bucks standing back over there, wall hangers. And now I'm looking at two deer looking at me down the road. See yeah. Right. right there. See him standing in the little cove? Looking at us? Yeah, yeah they're right there. Okay, so there's two bucks in our pack. So that's the buck that I think I saw last Sunday. Dark. That's that dark deer that I saw back there. Now he's not even phased that we're standing here. I think that's the one that comes out on the road over here. Yeah, of course you can't see him in this video. But he's standing out there eating a little bit of corn we just put out. I'm hoping the two big bucks come back. 
that Dad saw. He said one was a wall hanger. I tell you, that gives me hope. sitting in the stand just starting to get daylight let's see what goes on Good morning. So, you had all these little short videos of me getting up to the farm yesterday. And uh, Dad and I did our regular routine Friday night. And uh, I've been sitting in the stand now for about two hours. Two and a half hours, maybe. And uh, i got to go back to the drawing board because I've already had some deer... snorting at me so I think they know I'm in here <clears throat> and the thing is is that I redid this with little windows now but I didn't finish it by putting my curtains back up because when I had the curtains up and all of this was open and I had the feeder right here next to the condo pretty much i could sit right here and count up the 10 deer i remember they sit right there i wouldn't even know i'm in here so it's obvious that i need to get these curtains back up because i just heard a deer snorting at me he saw me or she saw me before i saw her so with that being said here we go I might do that this afternoon when things quiet down. I got the material. All I got to do is come in here and strap it up and cut it. Dad's back in the uh, ground blind. And the, as cloudy and rainy as it was yesterday, um, it was, uh, thank God, the whew, Thank God the rain held out. So it just was cloudy all day yesterday. Just to repeat of last weekend. This morning is cold. It's uh, 50, 52. The sun is out, as you can see. And uh, there's nothing going on here. Now, last night, Dad was, I thought he was hunting, hunting, but he was here at the cabin. When I rolled up about 6 o'clock, 5.36, he flagged me down and told me to shut the truck off. There were two bucks, which I was saying earlier in the video, but I don't know if you caught it because I was trying to whisper. There were two bucks right behind the cabin, and one of them was a huge buck horns and he said that's the first he's ever seen out here like that so we put corn out and uh we're gonna try to see if they can stay around it's probably those two bucks that parker and i saw out in front of uh the shed down the street because i could see those horns when they crossed the road and they we were still a good distance away so dad said he's going to sit in his blind till 12 or 9 30 10 and i know he's got breakfast on his mind anyhow i'm going to sit right here 
see if something slips through here. Let me show you this beautiful morning. See if something happens here in the next 30, 45 minutes and I'm out of here. So, still nothing. It's gotten awfully quiet though. Everything's calmed down. Marty just texted me. She's getting on a bus headed back home. I think it was a 15 or 18 hour bus ride. I don't think she'll get home till tomorrow. Sometime, bless her heart, mi esposa, el chi amo mi vida. I love you, el chi amo. Bom trabajo, okay? Anyhow, I think I'm going to get out of here. Go find that material so I can measure this thing out and put these uh, curtains back up. That will help out a lot simply because, like I said last time, I'd have deer, turkeys, you name it, all standing right here. Nothing. I'd take pictures of them. And they wouldn't even flinch. So, the sun's up real good now. And it's almost time for Dad. He'll probably be calling me on the radio here soon. So, I'm going to ease on out of here. I also got it figure out a way to flag these woods because again I got lost coming in here this morning nothing's recognizable there's so many limbs down I mean just dead 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 everything's thinning itself out laying down laying down it's like this all throughout here now see how this is starting to thin out Hell, you can almost see the lights. You can see the lights from the cabin straight through the woods there. Before, you could never have ever seen the cabin or any kind of lights or trucks going down the road. So. Get out of here. Light. Just in case I saw something or shooting before daylight. Did you hear that? Because if you did, that was my stomach growling. <laughs> wow. All right, let's see if I can get out of this stand and hold this funnel at the same time. I know there's books around the room here somewhere. Oh yeah, they know. I'm running around here. So this is the deer stand. 
I just need to put those curtains up. You can still see me wiggling around in there, I guess. Moving something, I don't know. Sun's up, I can definitely see where the hell I'm going. Stand by. I would walk out the long way, but I don't want to run across Dad or get too close to him, especially since I don't have any orange on. trees around here just rotting out everywhere I think we had a little spurt of pine beetles right here because there's a bunch of dead pines one of them's aiming right for the cabin see it leaning right there there's the condo not the cabin the condo God bless it. <laughs> Spider web. And in the mouth. Yeah, see everything dead? Everything. Dead, 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 dead. It's thinning itself out. I love it. Last weekend, had the deer standing right out here, looking at us, going to the condo. I could probably cut a new path through here now, instead of walking this swamp all the way around. Now that it's cooling off, I probably will do that. Blaze me a new trail. And, uh, uh flag it. So you can see your way back in here now. Wow, almost unrecognizable. Big old black smuggles just died. Of course the forestry service burned this place two years ago, three years ago, which has really helped out. All kinds of tracks on this road. Same as repeat of last weekend. I bet you there might be some deer standing in the road out here. 
feeding. Let's check it out. There's a hawk. I don't know what he's feeding on. They're trying to catch. Whew. I tell you what, it's cold. I didn't think it was going to be this cold this morning, but it's cold. Anyhow, another thing, no buzzards flying around, so I guess there's no hogs laying around out there from last weekend when I tried to mow them down with a 22 rifle. Kind of joke, but it was fun. Anyhow, I'm gonna get me some more coffee. Stand by. Okay, so, anyhow, let's pick up where, this is right here is where Dad saw a buck and he said it had a massive set of horns when well, that goes but he says the biggest he's seen out here yet so i'll take his word for that the buck i jumped up back here in the woods the buck we've seen out here and a different one and the one that was standing right here in the corner of the yard by the truck one day i think those bucks are starting to lay up around here which is a good thing Saturday today's November 3rd it is beautiful 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 day beautiful sunrise look at that sun out there oh, I love it tomorrow's supposed to cloud back up but today's going to be a uh, beautiful beautiful fall day so I think Dad's going to be out in the woods here in a little bit. And uh, we're going to go grab some breakfast. Come back here and regroup. Well, as predicted, Dad's out the stand. And we are going to get some breakfast. So I've gotten out of all my hunting clothes. And he's gotten out of his. And we are getting ready. To, he's over there packing up the truck now. Putting his stuff away. And we're going to head on to McClellanville and get us some breakfast. And then we're going to come back and we're going to venture out to the dockside deer stand where we built years ago. See what kind of shape it's in. It's like the condo, but a little smaller, but a little taller. So we'll bring that to you. Okay. Now we're back from breakfast and we're headed out to the dockside deer stand. We call it the dockside because pretty much everything built from it or we built was made from a recycled dock that was disassembled over in St. Thomas Point. So let's head on out there and catch up with dad because he's already out there. Ah, yeah, yeah, I got my snake boots on, but something in there's pinching. So, cabin, heading on back into the woods. This is where the bucks were standing last night when we got here, or when I got here, and Dad was already here. So we put corn out here. We used to keep a can. Yeah! Bring what? Okay. Dad wants to broom. Try to clean that thing out. Now this stand was made out of old uh, pallets. So who knows what kind of shape it's in. But it's 
if anything, it's got a nice set of stairs going up to it, which you'll see that in just five minutes. Let me grab this broom. I got something for that. Yeah. I come back here and spray that path. Going back to the farm. And this thing, all it is really is just grass. Wow. There we go. Pretty back here though, man. I tell you what. Look at these trees. Big. Yeah. I mean, big old mature trees. Yep. I guarantee it. Even still on that thing, man. What? The roof. This thing's flat. All right, there's a buzzard right there. Oh. Buzzard just got up. See all the buzzards right over there? Flying up. Yeah. But there's a dead hog over there. See him in the trees. Well, we're going to have to go check that out. A little investigation. Alright, so Dad and I just found a bunch of buzzards. Check this out. See what in the world they're eating on. Top of us flying around. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah, something laying around here. Of course, it was dead, I guess. Huh? This big old tree uprooted right here. You see it? It looks like it was just, oh, there's a the damn hog right here, Dad. Yeah, man. Got stuck in this damn mud. If he's still alive. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't believe so. See? Yeah. So, watch out, he might still be alive. I don't know the brother's messing with him. He got stuck in that mud. He couldn't get up. Damn, isn't that crazy? Yep. That's a big hog right there. Yeah, right. Big tree uprooted. That was right there. Hog went down here to wall in the mud. And there he stayed. You know, something told me to walk over here. I said, if that's something we're getting in this hole, couldn't get out. And sure enough, there he is.
Damn, that's sad yeah. in a way. All right? I said that's sad in a way. Yeah, yeah. starting to well. swell up, yeah. He hadn't been there long. Is that blood coming out of his nose? Yeah, they're going to take his eyes out. Mm -hmm. Well, we got us a, a hog trap. Mm -hmm. Big hog. Wow. You mm -hmm. have to worry about that son of a bitch. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to uh, let nature do their job. Because... Unless you want to mess with that thing. Yep. Yeah. He might start stinking like that other hog that time, though, remember? Across the road. Well, I think it's foot far enough away. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's not the one I shot. Well, I don't know. Maybe that one I shot yeah, might have crawled in there and died. Looks more like he got stuck in there, though. You know? Yeah, not in there. Yeah, he was, he was shot. That damn Martin couldn't get out of that hole. Yeah. No, not at all. I mean, this is still nice, clean ground. See there? A little grass. So, say again? You took a picture of the Yeah, I got it on video. Yeah, good Yeah. So, this is what we call the dock side. Look how all this cleaned out, Dad. Mm -hmm. The dock side stand. This is. Yeah, it's on that tree right there. Go up there see if you need it. Yeah. So Dad and I built this thing way back in the day. And that floor. We need to run us a two by four across this way. And one across that way, make an X and support that floor a little better if it does feel squishy. Yeah. But these damn stairs here, shoot. Them stairs there ain't going nowhere. <laughs> of course, we didn't get our spacing too good, did we? Yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little to it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, shit. Yeah. Everything looks pretty damn solid. Absolutely. Hmm. Spider. Huh? Spider. Yeah, man. Deer traveling all through here, probably. 
big old holly tree right next to the stand. These steps are good. Yeah, them steps there ain't going nowhere for a while. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Well, there you have it. The dockside deer stand. It's going to get a little bit of a renovation underneath because it's sagging. So if we put something, brace it right here, push it up, it'll be good. I can hunt all this again. What is it? Back off from here. Oh yeah, man. The buzzards are on top of this now. See them all right here? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. So this is the property line. Separating our place from Eddie. Eddie? Yep. Is his place? Huh. Wow. So here's the deer stand, and here is the buck rub. Tearing that bush up. <laughs> There's some corn back there. Yeah, we gotta clear these pads out. Trees. It's beautiful. This video does no justice. But these trees back here are massive. Yeah, that's the property line, right? Where? Back in there? See, this is where we could, I'd like to follow this thing one day. What? This creek. Uh-huh. See, you know, if, if eventually, like, standing looking out from the cabin to the right where it gets flooded, I think this is where all that drains. And eventually comes this way. So after taking a tour around the back side of the property today and walking some trails and paths that we had cut and cleaned, uh, they're not bad other than the fact that they need to be sprayed. A lot of grass. So I filled up the uh, sprayer here, backpack with Roundup. I'm just going to walk some trails and spray and knock some of that stuff down. Dad's got the four wheeler loaded up. Can't get it to work right. It won't go in reverse. Uh, and now he's got a bucket of black walnuts that fell in his yard that he's going to dump out for the deer in the little cove back in there. So I'm gonna load up this backpack sprayer and hit this trail, spray it down and see how that works, which it should work fine. 
this stuff I bought is cheap. I think I figured out I've sprayed 80 gallons of Roundup around the property, killing all the ditches and road side, sides of the roads and paths and all this behind the cabin here. I sprayed all that and knocked all that down. Uh, you figure $20 a gallon for Roundup. I've sprayed about 800 gallons. So, no, I lied. 80, 85 gallons. So do the math. That's about, that's a lot of money. The stuff I bought on Amazon is $20 a gallon and it makes around 75, 70, 75 gallons of Roundup. And I thought, well, let's try it and see how it works for 20 bucks and come to find out it works great. So I'm definitely a believer. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to load up on this thing and get to spraying. Well, today has, like always, flown by. <clears throat> Dad just left. So here I am up here at the farm again. And since I have nothing better to do, I do this so Parker can go do his hunting or whatever he wants to do. So it kind of works out for both of us. But I got to tell you what, I got everything rolling now. I got the fire going. I got the TV going. Mom actually made some chocolate chip cookies. So I got chocolate chip cookies. But... I ended up getting a pork tenderloin and I've rubbed it earlier and put it in this bag. So this puppy here is about ready to go. Actually, I th thought it was one pork tenderloin that wound up being two cryovac together. So I'm just waiting on the right time, which is two, three, four, thirty. I could probably put it on soon. Got the grill ready to go right here. And I put on the backpack sprayer last video. I didn't show it, but I loaded it up with Roundup and I told you I was how cheap I got that stuff. Anyhow, I sprayed the trail going behind the cabin here, going back to the inside road. I sprayed the road, I sprayed the road coming up, went out on the high, on the big dirt road, sprayed, finished knocking out some stuff on the ditches, and my feet are killing me because I was wearing the snake boots, and they're actually not the most comfortable things to wear. So here we go with a beautiful sunny Saturday evening up at the farm. It's going to be in the 40s tonight. But the cabin is nice and warm because I cut the heater on about three this morning. And everything in here is good. As a matter of fact, it is 72 degrees in here right now. So I like that. I'm going to bump this up just a hair. And we'll be good to go. I think I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. For my with my pork tenderloin and uh, throw down with that because that shit's gonna be good anyhow i'm gonna go put out some corn now so i hope the bucks come back tonight who knows i didn't see him this morning dad actually had a buck walk right next to his ground blind and it was a small basket rack but he said a four point but decent but anyhow he didn't want to shoot it and let it roll on and i think that was probably the deer that was snorting at me then again he did see a doe and a yearling and so i think it's a little too late for yearlings but it's a, probably a doe and a, and a smaller deer and uh, that was probably what was blowing at me this morning Alright, so I'm going to go stoke the fire, get a bucket of corn, start putting some corn out, okay? Stand by. Alright, let's get some corn going, yeah. Corn! 
We're in the shed. Corn. I don't like this bucket. Dad likes that bucket. I like the blue bucket. We got a big old trash can full of corn. Side. Full. Get it from Hamlin. Looks like 30, 40 bucks at the most to fill that thing up with shelled corn. Can't beat it. But you got to go to him and you got to have a drum and he fills it up with the silo thing. <sighs> Let's go put out some corn. I'm gonna show you where I put corn so you can watch this. That's how you do it. Uh, he'll be out tonight. And I'm gonna go behind the cabin now. Put some more out. We'll cast that on video as well. All right, behind the cabin. Nope, that ain't gonna work. That definitely ain't gonna work. So I'll just take you with me. They're all behind this place last night. Coons, damn raccoons out the wazoo. Little eyes looking at me. I put the corn right where Parker puts the corn every time and every time I walk from around the corner and there they are standing there so I'm gonna stick with what works so I was thinking maybe tomorrow morning I might go get in the stand again maybe I don't know depends on how cold it is how I feel how I sleep tonight we'll see anyhow Getting ready to cut, so let's throw down. All right, corners out. Let's light the grill. Get ready to get some business going here. Ooh, bug. I actually put some bleach in here because the sink gets so stained with leaves because I'm right under this massive water oak and it just covers the countertop and 
stains it, which nothing bleach can't take care of. This is what I got, y'all. Okay, so we missed it, but anyhow, I want to bring it back to you because I took a pork tenderloin, and it's not from the hog that was back there in the mud hole. This is a pork tenderloin I got from Harris Teeter. Buy one, get one free. And I've had it in this rub all day, which come to find out there were two in the package. I swear that package was just a little tiny like you normally see. I opened it up, and it was cryovac, but two tenderloins it's like they expanded into this massive chunk of meat yeah you can see the two here they've been sitting in this rub that i bought at costco no sam's i bought a, a rub at sam's i figured i'd try it i also mixed garlic and some kosher salt with it to give it a different flavor because i tried it before and it just wasn't enough seasoning for me so anyhow salt i put the salt on it Grill is going. I'm going to throw this puppy on there and let it cook slow and low for about an hour to an hour and a half. I have one wood chunk that I'm going to throw on the fire. That's all I have left. And I'm going to smoke this. But this should give me actually what I need for an hour, hour and a half worth of smoke. Anyhow, so now you got it. I'll bring dinner to you, okay? So I did want to mention that Madi is still traveling on a bus headed back to her house in Ted, uh, Pedreas. So she's steady getting it. Talked to her about the videos last time I made them, and I'm like, you know what? I didn't even really talk to her other than telling y'all about her. So, mi esposa... Mariquita Juntos para siempre aquí. Oh my God. Muito, muito, muito bom. Amor. Para siempre. Ok. Eu te amo. Another tile just fell off of my sink because of the defective glue from the company that makes this crap, Faustone. I have a pile of it sitting over here on the thing. It's all coming off. I don't know if you can see it, but anyhow. Okay. Wood. And the pork tenderloin. Right here. Going on.
side wood chunk in it that wood starts burning good which it's gonna be ready to roll here in probably just a second and I'm gonna put the lid on this thing it's gonna smother it I'm gonna pull the smoke across it and out and it's gonna start smoking pork tenderloin I'll give it an hour to maybe an hour and a half, depending. We'll see exactly how long it takes. I don't have a meat thermometer, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, starting to smoke now. Uh huh. I don't know if you can see it, but. I'll leave that alone and we'll be rocking and rolling here soon. Shower time. So <clears throat> there's not even a whisper of wind, which is a good thing. So I'm going to get my shower head. I always put it up because if I leave it out, spiders build a nest up in there and then it doesn't work right. not not even a breeze nothing it's perfect so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to take a shower so of course nobody gets to see that so we're out of here bye bye